Good day guys and uh, again welcome to Foreign Language 1 and for this video I will be sharing you the pinyin tones uh, as you could see that in Chinese in the Chinese language there are actually tones whenever you're going to pronounce uh, every Chinese character so the tones will help you determine which word are you referring okay so uh, it's it's a uh, very uh, sensitive the tones in Chinese is very sensitive to the point that a wrong tone might mean another thing a wrong tone might mean something else so uh, Chinese is very strict with these opinion tones and therefore in our foreign language I would like to spend one video just for opinion tones so let's start okay so there are four tones in Chinese Mandarin okay but as you could see in this uh, image you would see five tones but i thought there's only four tones in chinese mandarin actually in reality uh there is only four major tones in chinese mandarin meaning these tones uh the, these four major tones are the ones that is, that is being used regularly yung fifth tone minsan lang siya lumalabas okay so yung fifth, fifth tone minsan lang siya lumalabas the rest first tone second tone third tone and fourth tone palating ginagamit yan and usually all of Chinese char of the Chinese characters have these tones. So let's start reading with the tones. So let's start with first tone. Now ang tawag dyan sa tone na yan ay first tone. Okay, and first tone usually is pronounced uh, very relaxed lang. Okay, relaxed lang yung uh, katawan mo, relaxed lang yung boses mo. Uh, you read it in a monotone. Kung nakita mo, diretso lang yung line niya sa taas. Okay, so ibig sabihin derecho lang ang tone dyan. Now, how do we read first tone? I'm going to read it three times. Okay, so first tone sounds like this. Ma, ma, ma. So that is the uh, first tone. Uh, second tone, if you check the, uh, the the character or the design of second tone, nakita nyo paakyat yung uh, sa, uh, mark sa letter A. Paakyat siya. It means that if you're going to read second tone, paakyat din dapat ang tono ng boses mo. Okay? So, how do we read second tone? Second tone is read like this. Ma, ma, ma. Okay. Third tone, if you notice, uh, parang letter V sa taas ng letter A. Tama? Parang may letter V. Actually, in reality, check yan. Okay? Going down, tapos going up ulit. Okay, di ba yung check, pababa, tapos paakyat ka ulit. Okay, so the same <coughs> sa ma, uh, para din siyang going down and going up again. Okay, so how do we read third tone? Ma, 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 that's third tone. And last is the fourth tone. How do we read fourth tone? Now, if you notice again sa tataas ng letter A, yung, yung mark dyan, pababa naman. Okay, it means for tone if you uh, ipabasa mo siya pababa naman ang basa mo. No? So how does it sound? Uh, how does for tone sounds like? Okay? So for tone sounds like this. Ma. 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 So that's how these four tones these four tones are being read. Now, uh, itong tones ato kailangan ng practice. Okay, how I read it Ganyan lang ang tono niya. No, don't create any more tones. Okay, wag na kayo mag uh, wag na kayo makinig sa ibang uh, ibang uh, website. Sometimes kasi sa, sa ibang website, iba-ibang tones ang ginagamit nila. So mali, baka mali-mali. So ang standard na gagamitin natin is kung paano ko siya sasabihin dito sa uh, video na ito. Okay, so that isa lang ang pakikinggan niyo, isa lang ang susundan niyo. Okay? So uulitin ko ulit. First tone, ma. Second tone, ma. Third tone, ma. Fourth tone, ma. Now, kung mapansin nyo rin, meron tayong two lines. Uh, may apat na ma dyan, may apat na ma sa baba. Yung first line ng ma, kung mapansin nyo, <coughs> yung letter A niya, sa taas may mga iba't ibang klaseng mga marks. Okay, may diretso, may paakyat, may, pa may letter V, may pababa. But sa baba naman, if you notice, puro numbers lang. Okay, ma number one, ma number two, ma three, and ma four. Okay, actually, in our foreign language, ang gagamitin natin na, na uh, structure or pattern is yung sa baba, yung ma1, ma2, ma3, ma4. So that you would know immediately kung anong tone yan. Ma1 means 
first tone. Ma 2 means second tone, Ma 3 means fourth, third tone, and Ma 4 means fourth tone. Okay? So, uh, ganyan na, yan ang gagamitin natin na pang mark ng mga tones. Para ma, ma, pag na isang tingin nyo lang, alalaman nyo ako ilang tone, pang ilang tone kagad to. So, again, these tones should be practiced uh, regularly. No? You, now, paano naman yung fifth tone? Fifth tone, usually nakikita lang yan is uh, sa mga tinatawag natin na mga linking verbs. Okay, sa mga linking verbs, aaralin natin yan in the future. Yung mga linking verbs yan, usually sila lang may mga fifth tone. Aside from that, may mga inuulit tayong words sa Chinese, katulad ng papa, mama, siyesye, mga ganon. So, dahil inuulit yung words, pang ang pangalawang word usually dyan is fifth tone. So, doon lang siya ginagamit and hindi ganon ka common gamitin. Okay, now, paano ba science si fifth tone? Actually, si fifth tone, wala siyang tone. Fifth tone lang ang tawag sa kanya, pero wala siyang tone. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang, wala siyang packet or pababa. How would you read it? Para meron lang stop sa huli. So, ma. Ganun lang. Ma. Ma. Parang hihin, ihihinto mo lang siya sa huli. So, for example, ang father sa Chinese, papa. Ang mother sa Chinese, mama. So, hinihinto mo lang yung second niya, yung pang fifth tone. So, ganun lang si fifth tone. Now, let's uh, try practicing uh, first tone, okay, with different pinyin. Okay? So, again, uh, babasahin natin to in the proper pinyin. Okay? And if you remember, uh, regarding sa lesson natin last time doon sa pinyin, uh, doon sa video na may puro pinyin, remember how each letter is pronounced. Dito, i-apply natin yun. Okay? So, for example, may, sa number 3, makita nyo, letter B yan. And again, uh, as what I've taught in the last uh, video, wala tayong letter B sa Chinese. But what we have is letter P na walang air. Okay? So, paano natin sila babasahin? So, lahat yung first tone, practice natin si first tone muna. Okay? Number 1, ma. Number 2, la. Number 3, pa. Number 4, na. And number 5, Fa, ganun lang siya. Okay? So, uh, habang nakikinig kayo sa video na ito, please gayahin nyo rin. Sundan nyo rin para makuha nyo. Okay? Kasi pag babasahin mo lang siya sa mind, hindi na papractice yung, yung bibig mo, hindi na papractice yung tono dyan. Okay? Tinatawag natin itong uh, 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 exercise sa lalamunan tsaka sa bibig. Okay? So, the more you say it, the more you use it, the more masasanay yung body mo kung paano siya basahin. Okay? So, one more time. Number one, ma. Number two, la. Number three, pa. Number four, na. Number five, fa. Okay, so, mapansin nyo, first tone, re relax lang. Ma, la, pa, na, fa. Ganun lang siya. Now, punta naman tayo kay second tone. Okay, again, the same uh, the same pattern. We're going to read this in the second tone naman. Okay? Number one, ma. Number two, number two, na. Number three, fa. Number four, sure. Number five, ru. One more time. Number one, ma. Number two, na. Number three, fa. Number four, sure. Number five, ru. Okay, so that's uh that's a second tone packet siya. Okay? One more time without the numbers. Ma na fa sure ru. One last time. Ma na fa sure ru. Now, let's try the third tone. Okay? So, paano naman basahin ang mga third tone? Uh, third tone, by the way, is the longest uh, longest tone. Okay? Mas, mas, medyo mas matagal siya ng ilang seconds. Kasi kung mapansin nyo again earlier, doon sa mark na nakalagay sa taas sa letter A, para siyang letter V, tama? Which actually is a check mark. Ibig sabihin nun, pababa yung tone niya sa packet ulit. So, meron siya ilang few seconds na mas patagal kaysa sa mga other tones. Okay? So, how would we read this third tone? Number one, lao. Number two, tsao. Number three, yu. Number four, mu. Number five, tsao. One more time, 
Number one, lao. Number two, chao. Number three, yu. Number four, mu. Number five, chao. Okay, again, one more time without the without the numbers. Lao, chao, yu, mu, chao. One last time. Lao, chao, yu, mu, chao. So that's third tone. Now, dito naman tayo sa fourth tone. Fourth tone naman naman pinakamaikling tone sa apat na tones na yan. Okay? It is a shortest tone. Mabilis lang siya basahin. Uh, I mean, mabilis siya pag binabasa. Okay? So, paano natin babasahin ang fourth tone? Okay? So, number one, ta. Number two, kao. Number three, ro. Number five, eh, number four, sorry, show. And number five, peng. One more time. Number one, ta. Number two, kao. Number three, ro. Number four, show. And number five, peng. Okay, so parang parang instant ng pagbasa sa kanya. No, mabilisan lang. Pababa siya. Okay, so one more time without the numbers. Ta. Kao. Ro. Show. Peng. One more time. Ta. Kao. Ro. Show. Peng. Now, these 10 items naman dito is uh, a practice na mix. Paghalo-haloin natin lahat ng mga tones naman. Okay, so paano natin mabasahin paghalo-halo ng mga tones? Iba't ibang tones na. No? I suggest uh, you pause the video first and then itry nyo muna. Okay, pakinggan nyo yung sarili nyo o i-record nyo, i-record nyo yung vo- boses nyo doon sa voice recorder, i-record nyo muna, tapos itry nyo, basahin nyo muna. Okay, pag nakuha nyo na, uh, tsaka nyo pakinggan yung kung paano ko babasahin isa-isa ito. Okay, so that you will know kung tama yung pagbasa nyo o hindi. Now, uh, sa, mga nag- sa mga nag-try, sa mga gustong i-try, uh, okay lang uh, pag nagkamali. Kasi these tones is wala, hindi siya, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya available sa English and Tagalog natin. Tama? Uh, example sa Tagalog, Kahit ibahin mo yung tone ng word, pareho pa rin ang meaning. Baboy, 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 pareho pa rin. Kahit anong gawin mo sa baboy na word, iba-ibahin mo yung tono nan, alam natin, baboy at baboy ba din. Unlike sa Chinese, pag iniba mo na ang tone, nag-iiba na siya ng meaning. Okay? So, uh, if you want, you can pause the video, and then you try to read it and record, and then after, Tsaka, tsaka nyo pakinggan kung tama ang pronunciation. Okay? So, number one. Let's see kung tama ang pronunciation nyo. Number one. Now. 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 Number two. Fun. 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 Number three. La. 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 Number four. Sure, sure, sure. Number five, row, row, row. Number six, pow, pow, pow. Number seven, pa, pa, pa. Number eight, na, na, na. Number nine, one, one, one. And number ten, kai, kai, kai. Okay, so you need to practice these tones. Okay, kung actually kung, uh, kung may time kayo, every time, uh, every day, kailangan siya talaga i-practice. Okay, so if, if uh, anyway, again, open notes naman tayo. So you can always check uh, yung mga notes nyo. Okay, make sure meron kayong kopya. Para maalala nyo kung paano yung basahin yung mga tones. And of course, keep on watching and keep on practicing on your own. Okay, so uh, ito yung, ano natin, ito yung uh, video natin for the tones. Thank you very much and God bless. See you on the next video.